Hi, I'm Renee Suzanne. I'm a life coach who helps women date with purpose so that they can have the relationships they really want instead of just putting themselves out into the world and hoping that something good happens. Today, I want to talk to you about something really important that you can do on your dates that will help you and the men you date to have a much better experience and yes, will help you find a wonderful man to be with and start your relationship off on the right foot because first dates are super important and I did this on my first date with the man I married. And the thing is, it's really simple. Just be friendly and act like you like him. And I know it, it's a very simple, basic thing, but a lot of times we women can be a little more on the careful side and maybe hold back and be just a little standoffish. And there are several reasons we do this. The first one is we've been taught to make guys chase us or to act unavailable or even a little aloof so that he won't get the wrong idea or just, you know, so that you can just act like a little more aloof and not be just overwhelming and i i would really not encourage you to do this because aloof women who make men chase them attract players and you probably don't want to ha attract players you want to attract the nice kind decent guys who are interested in having a relationship with you and those guys just want to feel like you like them they don't want to have to chase you a grown-up man who's looking for a relationship with a real person is going to find it so refreshing to be on a date with a woman who acts friendly and warm and like she likes him and my husband told me this i'm not just making this up my husband said that was one of his favorite things about being on our first date is that I was warm and friendly and genuinely interested in him. And I'm not talking about over the top flirting or being super sexy or giving him like come hither bedroom eyes or any of that. I'm just talking about being a nice, friendly human woman like you would be with any of your friends and just acting like you like him, acting like you're happy to be there, acting like you are enjoying his company. This is really going to go so far in helping get you set up to have second dates with good, kind, decent men, not the players who are up for a challenge and a big chase because you don't want to date those guys. You want to date the nice, normal guys. They are not looking for a big challenge. They're just looking to date a nice girl who likes them. And another reason that a lot of women kind of hold back and get a little standoffish on first dates is because we're not sure we like them yet, right? We're just not really 100% sure and we're really kind of sometimes afraid to bring our A game and lead him on. But I would encourage you, again, just to be nice, be kind, act like you're enjoying his company, do enjoy his company, like for real, do everything you can to enjoy being there on that date with him. Don't be super afraid of leading him on. A lot of times what happens is that you will warm up to a man, especially if you're used to dating guys, a different kind of guy, and you're, you're dating outside your type. It might take you a little while to warm up to this new kind of person and you don't want him not to get in touch with you because he thought that you were cold or aloof or did not like him. You want to be in the position to decide if you want a second date with him. So please act like you like him. Be kind, be warm, be friendly, enjoy his company. Let him know that. Smile, listen to him, lean in, and don't be super afraid of of acting like you like him and thank him. This is a big thing. Thank him for the date on the date. Tell him that you had a good time while you are still on the date. Don't let there be any doubt in his mind that you enjoyed yourself, that you had a good time, that you really appreciate him spending a couple hours of his life with you, that you appreciate the cup of coffee, the glass of wine, the dinner, the whatever. Thank him. Tell him you had a good time and thank him and do this on the date. He should know that you like him on the date because you don't want to go home 
and feel like, oh my gosh, did he really know that I liked him? Was Did that go okay? And be worried that he's not going to reach out to you and then end up texting him. And I strongly encourage you to let the man reach out to you first after the date because then you'll know if he's really interested in you. If you text him first and say, thanks for the date and I got home okay or I hope you got home okay or I just saw this article that made me think of you or my dog made this funny face or whatever. You do not want to be reaching for excuses to follow up with him after the date. You want to hold back and see if he is really interested in you so that you can get in relationships with men who really want to be there with you. And the way to do that is to say thank you on the date, let him know you had a great time, and then wait for him to follow up with you after the date. And he most likely will if he had a good time and thinks you had a good time and that you really enjoyed yourself and liked him. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Go to my website and get my free video to help you find love. It's reneesuzannecoaching.com. I know you're going to love it. And reach out to me at renee at reneesuzannecoaching.com if you have any questions or if you would like to get on the phone with me and talk about what you are doing out there in the dating world and to see if I am a good fit for us to work together to help you find love even faster. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.